I keep order in the chamber really by saying order. I mean, literally the use of that word is a signal to a member or to a group of members that the noise should subside. Or if I stand up and say order when somebody is speaking, that member realises, well, certainly anybody with any experience realises, that he or she should sit down. When the speaker is on his feet, a member should not be on his or her feet. I wouldn't want your audience to think that's the speaker being pompous or self-important. It's about the speaker, the role of the speaker, the speaker being the umpire, the speaker being the referee, the speaker being the adjudicator if there is any dispute. So if there is a lot of noise, I will tend to say, order, the house must calm itself. There's a long time to go. Well, there are a lot of questions that we need to get through and we must have some order. Or I will sometimes say order to a particular member who's making an excessive noise. The honourable member must calm himself. He's becoming very overexcitable. And I think quite a lot of people will hear me say this if they watch our proceedings. And it's not intended to denigrate any particular person. It's not intended to be dismissive of colleagues. It's intended to do just what the word says, restore order, because it's only in circumstances in which there is a basic attentiveness and respect in the chamber that we can have a proper debate. So I would say it's not a fact order, it's a process. And very often it's something that one has to return to several times during the course of perhaps a rather loud or ill-tempered debate. I might have to say it many, many times. I would just make one little point about order, and that is that Prime Minister's questions, though a very important part of our parliamentary calendar, and by a large multiple, the most heavily viewed and listened to session of the week, is not representative of the rest of the week. During Prime Minister's questions, I might have to appeal for order four, five, six, ten times or more. Most days, that's not the case. And for example, this morning, before I came to talk to you, I was sharing the business of the house and it wasn't necessary for me to intervene to cut anybody off because everybody was behaving very well. And I wish that that were more commonly the case, but Prime Minister's Questions tends to be a keenly anticipated occasion and and it's largely a spectator sport. Most people who attend are not looking to ask a question that day, but to cheer, and sometimes I'm afraid to jeer. And that's why my resort to the word order is probably much more frequent during Prime Minister's questions than it is at any other time during the parliamentary week.